My name is Lorian Strant and I'm a Microsoft MVP from Australia, focusing on Office 365. I work as an independent consultant guiding organisations on their Office 365 journey, ultimately helping them communicate and collaborate more effectively. In my travels, I see a variety of different email signatures and see people still configuring their email signature manually in Outlook, on the web and on their phone. So I thought it would be useful to create a video that shows how quick and easy it is to get Exclaimer Cloud Signatures for Office 365 up and going. To get started, we'll sign up for a trial from the service by going to the product page and then clicking sign up for free. From here, we'll just provide some basic contact details. Specify a strong password and then press start my free trial. Exclaimer is then going to send us a verification email. So let's jump into our mailbox, wait for that email to come in, which will only take a moment or two. And once we've got that, we'll click on the link, which will verify our sign up and then take us to submit some more details. Now that's done, let's get our subscription going. We'll need to specify the amount of users as that's used for licensing purposes. Make sure you actually read the terms and conditions and then press create subscription. From here, hit the launch button to take us to where the magic happens. Now we're gonna press the big button on the left to begin configuring the service because we'll get to the signature designer later. Now we've got a quick choice to make. Do we want our signatures applied by the cloud or in Outlook? In this instance, I'm gonna opt for just the cloud model as my users don't wanna see their own signatures as they compose them. So I'll we'll uncheck that and hit next. On this page, Exclaimer outlines the Office 365 configurations it's about to perform. Here, Exclaimer is asking for our Office 365 tenant domain, not a vanity domain such as yourcompanyname.com. To find that, we're going to go to the Office 365 admin portal, navigate to Setup, and then go to Domains. Here, we'll see the domain is listed, and we're going to copy the tenant domain, which is the one with .onmicrosoft.com. So we'll copy that in, and paste it back into Exclaimer. Now, we're going to authenticate against Office 365, And that's going to grant Exclaimer permissions to read Azure Active Directory data and profiles. Our next step is to configure Exchange Online connectors. This particular setup is going to perform a few tasks on our behalf. Here we enter the credentials of someone who has either the Exchange Admin or Global Admin role. And at this point, we're going to need to decide if we're routing all emails to Exclaim Cloud or just for members of a particular group. Initially, let's create a group called Exclaimer Users to keep it simple. Now, Exclaimer is going to run some PowerShell scripts to create the Exclaimer Users group, create send and receive connectors, and apply transport rules. I'd suggest you go grab a coffee and come back when doing this, as we've sped up the video so you don't have to watch the spinning wheel for a few minutes. Now that the techie stuff is done and out of the way, let's go and create our first signature. At this first screen, you can choose to enter in the organization details to use with a signature template, or start with a blank signature and use the drag and drop editor to design it yourself. As you can see, I'm opting to use the template approach. Now, after I've entered all the details for the organization, I'll be able to select from a number of different template designs. You can see by the category listing on the left, there's actually quite a variety to choose from. from the business cards, decorative disclaimers, signatures, vertical design, or one without images. Once I've selected, settled on the one that I like, I'm then taken to a drag and drop editor where I can modify the design. In the drag and drop editor, we can select from different areas of the signature and change the design. Here, I'm going to remove the address in the signature by deleting the entire table that holds the fields. Apart from that, I'm actually happy with the design, so I'm going to press save and give the signature a name. We close the drag and drop editor 
and then we'll be taken to the signature settings page. First, we need to change the signature status from disabled to enabled. And then we'll need to define who it applies to. This is where we actually specify that only the members of the exclaimer users group, which was created earlier, will actually get this signature. And now it's active. Now that Exclaimer and Office 365 are configured and working together, we need to test to make sure the signatures work. So over in the Exchange Online Admin Center, let's go into the Exclaimer Users group and put a test user in so that the signatures actually get applied to their emails on the way through. One thing we also need to do is to define when we want our signatures to be applied. Generally, you're going to only want signatures to be applied when emails are sent to external recipients. We've also got some other options here, like the ability to stop signatures being added when it detects specific text in the email, but we'll leave that for now. So now let's send a test email to an external person to make sure that the signature is being applied. Hit send and presto. As you can see in Outlook, the signature we chose is being applied and the recipient can actually see it in their email client. As you can see, getting started with Exclaimer is incredibly simple and quite fast. As noted earlier, some of the screens have been sped up so that you don't get bored watching this video. Now, while this video is around seven and a half minutes in length, in real time, the setup end to end will most likely take you about 15 to 20 minutes. And most of that is actually waiting on Exchange Online Actions to complete and for the settings to be replicated throughout the Exchange environment. Realistically, you should actually be able to finish this before your coffee gets cold. Enjoy.